Now, that big AI shift is where we start today. And we've got some team coverage. Deirdre Bosa looking at how Google is building out its AI ecosystem. Christina Partsinevelis is digging into how that's impacting the supply chain. And Julia Borston has the Mag7 stock that can't seem to find its AI footing. Deirdre, we're going to start with you. So, Dom, in AI, the leaderboard, it changes fast. In narratives, they can swing harder than the fundamentals. Just look at Google. It went from broken to beloved in a matter of months, not even because the business changed that dramatically. Now, it's on top now because it started executing. Gemini 3, its model landed. TPUs, its custom AI chips, they're gaining traction. And Google is shipping AI at a Google scale. It has the distribution. But just as markets got over their skis on the other side of this trade, this probably is not a winner-take-all situation. Take the emerging chip narrative. Yes, Meta buying Google custom chips powers the alphabet bull story, but the narrative that TPUs are about to overtake NVIDIA across the enterprise, not so fast. TPUs, you have to remember this, they lock you into Google stack, so they only run inside of Google Cloud. For most enterprises, that is a tough sell. They want optionality to be able to plug into NVIDIA or AMD or whatever comes next. There's room for both, essentially. So the real fight isn't Google versus NVIDIA. It may actually be Google versus the other hyperscalers. TPUs, they strengthen Google Cloud against the number one and number two hyperscalers, Amazon and Microsoft. And it raises the question, um, if Google has all of this momentum and custom silicon right now, where's the pickup for Amazon's chip, Tranium? All right, so again, since you opened the door for this, D, where is Amazon exactly in this race since it is the biggest cloud computing player out there and a hyperscaler right. itself? It's the biggest cloud computing player out there, the number one hyperscaler, so it should be leading in AI, right? And what we're learning from Google is that having your own custom chip is a huge part of that. We know that Amazon has been working on its own set of custom AI chips. The most well-known is Tranium. It even signed a deal with Anthropic, but... It's, you know, not a very well-kept secret that there's disappointment, not just on Wall Street, but in tech circles with that chip. It certainly does not have the momentum that Google does. And that's just on the chip side. Dom, I bet you'd be hard-pressed to name, you know, Amazon's family of AI models. Most people would. It's Nova, by the way. But they're not climbing the leaderboards. And that gap between sort of Google and everyone else, not just Amazon, by the way, has been increasing in recent months, or at least the narrative has. It's always been there. They're executing, and Wall Street is now appreciating it.